These cages may be part of the future of growing oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. Our aspiration is to become the John Deere of oyster aquaculture. We visited the South Baltimore office of Solar Oysters LLC, where the brains behind welding the equipment could help put a few billion oysters back into the bay to do what they do best, filter the water. What we're attempting to do here is grow oysters vertically instead of horizontally. The so co-founder of Solar Oysters, Mark Rice, explains how the equipment is powered by solar panels. Several functions are automated, rotating the ladder to give the oysters access to different food sources as deep as 20 feet and rinsing the cages to optimize their growth. That's typically tough labor at an aquaculture farm. This right here, this is the, the whole plate. We went inside to see this barge being built for the Navy, a project they can't discuss, but the size and function will be pretty similar for what's built to farm oysters. So this is actually what's going to sit in the water. Um, and then there's going to be side plates that connect this hull plate up to that deck plate. And that creates your superstructure. It's going to be able to stand waves, um, surges. The team discovered their first round of equipment took a beating, so they're on to the next step of testing and will take the equipment down to 20 feet instead of 8 feet. This is the setup in Solomon's Island, where they partnered with the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science and collaborated with Oyster Recovery Partnership and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Rice says the equipment will not get rid of existing jobs. Instead, people working on the bay will be more productive. If we cut the number of jobs required to grow a single oyster down, but we increase the number of oysters grown by a factor of 20, we're actually increasing the employment on the bay. A huge increase in the number of oysters grown at once is expected, around 45 times the density of current farms, and the growing will take up a much smaller area of the bay. We are very much hoping that this will increase the rate at which oysters are grown. Today, oysters are grown in either floating cages, like what we saw in a previous story, at Orchard Point Oyster Company, or bottom cages, which take up more space in an area and require a permit. Solar Oysters is hoping to prove vertical cages are like the tractor was for farming land. Where this cage is located right here, it would be under the water. Yes, it would be just under the water surface. That upper cage would be above the water surface. And as this chain rotates, it brings the cages down to depth across and back up the other side. Solar Oysters brought together two companies with engineers and biologists combining their knowledge. They're getting interest from as far away as Germany, Algeria, and France. We believe from our economic models that we can grow oysters for around 24 cents a piece. And that's competitive with what's done now but in a much higher density. They hope to have the next test equipment in the water by the summer of 2021, eventually create a demonstration area for farmers to visit in Solomon's Island and then start selling it as soon as 2024. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.